Hey everybody, they're really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dangerous Relationship. We are on Akira Samba's route on Chapter 6, Clouded Vision. I have no idea what that can be about. Let's see, you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. I cut the carrots, bring on the taters. Roger that. The two of us fold around while preparing our dinner for the night. We were making curry, and Akira was in charge of cutting while I did the cooking. Why are two of these carrots star-shaped? So you can try to find them when they're buried in sauce. <laughs> Alright. Making food for someone you care about was great, but more so is making it with them. You're really good at this. I live alone, so I had to learn. Plus, my older sister drilled it into me. You have an older sister? And a younger one, too. Wow! Being together like this gave me the chance to learn new things about him, too. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I'll be working with Taiga next time. Really? I wondered if Taiga ever decided to work as Akito's partner or not. Yeah, it's going to be for a talk show. I tried to get him to become a duo with me, but he hasn't said anything about it. That's a shame. Isn't it? Yeah, because... You would make a good team. I totally don't think so, but okay. You would make a good team. Jokes would be flying out one after another. You think so too? No, I don't. Taga's not a comedian. I think he's hidden the potential to be an awesome partner. I'd like to see it at least once. Tater's heading your way. His hands overflowing with potatoes, Akira moved over to me with a huge grin on his face. You see, the thing about my partner... Akira went on while he was enjoying a surprisingly tasty curry dish. I was still trying to find the star-shaped carrot hidden in the sauce. He loves sweet curry. So sweet it'll knock your socks off. Does he put sugar in it or something crazy like that? No, at least I don't think so. Still, he kept the recipe a closely guarded secret. Your partner sounds more and more interesting the more I learn about him. One of these days, I'll figure out how he does it. Recently, with his partner's condition improving, Akira was in better spirits. It didn't even bother him to talk to me about it at all. Some people out there are fanatics about curry. I know. I heard some people will only eat it if the veggies are pickled. Crazy, isn't it? Speaking of which, Tomoko eats curry every Friday when she gets off work. Tomoko again? She's like a wonder of the world. But since she got called in for the weekend too, she ate it Saturday and Sunday as well. <laughs> what a weird girl. I bet I could use her for some of my jokes. What? You will? I better keep my eye on her too. She might become one of my rivals someday. Akira made a note of it in his notebook. A rival, really? That's hilarious. Can't believe I'm making notes about a curry joke. He was on a mission to fill that book from start to finish with jokes. Once completed, he and his partner promised to win the Comedy Grand Prix together. How full is the book now? I'd have liked to stay over tonight if work hadn't gotten in the way. I decided to walk with Akira on his way home a little bit. You've got to get up tomorrow. There'll always be another day. Okay. I'm going then. Good night. Good night. No good night kiss? I closed my eyes. There we go. I closed my eyes for a good night kiss and waited anxiously for it. Damn it. But it was ruined by the ringing of his phone. The ringing of his not smart enough smartphone. It seemed like our phones always gave us grief at the worst possible times. I think your phone hates me. It was hard to believe how it rang with such cruel precision every time. It might be jealous of you. He turned his back to me, holding the phone to his ear with one hand. Hello? Someone calling this late probably meant something happened at work. What? Hmm? His voice suddenly roared out, but with his back turned to me, I couldn't see his face. Is it with his... something about his partner? Do you take a turn for the worse? Yeah. What else? Okay. Whatever it was... It seemed like a grave conversation. What was it? Sorry. Putting his phone away, Akira turned back to me. Work? Something happen? Well, uh, yeah. Sounds bad. Kinda. He looked toward the sky and answered in a daze. Akira? Sorry, I was thinking about work for a second. Something about the way he was behaving seemed strange. Anyway, see you later. Huh? Uh, okay. But he quickly turned back to normal as he waved his hand vigorously as he left. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I muttered to myself that there was no mistaking he acted strangely just then. 
I was greatly looking forward to work, and for one reason in particular. Huh? What, you didn't know I was your stylist today? You're the stylist? I walked in and greeted a very flustered Akira. That's right. You remember how well the clothes she picked out for you worked, right? Since it's both you and Taika today, we wanted someone who could nail it. Yeah? I knew I would be working with Taiga and someone else that day. However, it just so happened the other person would be Akira himself. I couldn't have wished for a better outcome than this. You should have told me. Akira whispered in my ear when the others had moved away. I wanted to see her face when you found out. You sneaky girl. Good morning. Oh, hello, Taiga. Just then, Taiga came walking into the room. Hey, just the guy I wanted to see. He instantly turned toward Taiga with a delighted smile. Well, I will not be your partner. W what? I haven't said anything yet. Every time I see you, that's the first thing out of your mouth. How about hello first? That's a waste of time. This is more important. You little... Well, what's going on? Nothing. Where's my outfit? Got yours right here. Thanks. Taiga accepted the bundle of clothes from him without question. What? You're putting it on? That's just a pile of clothes. I'll go change into this. How are you going to fit into two pairs of pants? <laughs> Whenever Akira and Taiga got together, it was hard not to laugh. Make sure he puts on something respectable, okay? No problem. Hey, you. What? Don't call me hey, you. That's impolite even if we're pretending not to know each other. The staff left the room, and Taiga was busy changing behind a curtain. How about a kiss? What? Shh. But, but Taiga's right there. He could pop out and see us at any minute, which would be a fiasco. Just a little one. I don't know. It'll make work go by faster if you give me one. Jeez. Uh, just a quick one then, and I mean it. If he needed it so much, I felt bad withholding it from him. Awesome. I'm going ahead without you. Uh, just when we were about to kiss, the curtain flung open and out came Taiga. <sighs> What's that face for? N nothing Don't worry about it. Fortunately, it didn't seem he saw or heard anything we said. I better get changed too. Hey. Taiga reached out to stop Akira. What's up? I need to ask you something. He faced Akira with a disconcerting expression. What? How is your partner doing, really? Uh, it's not like they say, right, that he's out because of a bone fracture. Taiga apparently knew about his partner, but how he found out I didn't know. N no. Caught off guard at the sudden question, Akira was at a loss for words. Well, I'd heard rumors that it was something else from the staff. Really? Akira was so secretive about it, I was shocked that anyone found out. Well, I think sooner or later those rumors are going to make their way to your ears, too. Hmm. <clears throat> Akira crossed his arms and sunk into silence. Yeah, and... When Akira didn't say anything, Taiga continued after a brief pause. Is it true his sickness took a bad turn? Ugh. I could hardly believe it myself after hearing how well he'd been doing lately. Just then, I remembered back. When Akira took that phone call the other day, he was visibly disturbed. Maybe it was a call from the hospital saying the situation had gotten worse. <sighs> As it is, it's only a matter of time until people found out. I just wanted to warn you. Oh, that's so nice of you, Taiga. Thanks. Akira finally managed to get out a single word. I'm fine. My partner, too. It'll all work out. His hopeful words were a huge contrast to the look on his face. If that's what you believe, then I'll take your word for it. I better get back to the studio soon. See ya. With that, Taiga left the two of us alone in the room. I knew he was looking out for Akira in his own way. I glanced toward him, full of worry. <sighs> All life was lost from his face. It was as stiff as a board. Akira. I went to grab his arm, but he moved. I grasped on the air. I'm going to change. Okay. There was nothing I could do but stare at him with sorrow. Words that might comfort him escaped me. Ugh. I let out a sigh upwards as I stared into the starry sky above. I hadn't been able to console him in any way before he went on stage.
It left me feeling miserable and helpless. Is there any way I can help him? He said he was fine, but I knew he was anything but. On stage, he acted normally, but that just meant he was concealing all that pain. Uh. When he finished work and left the studio, I hurried over to his side. Hmm? Thanks for waiting for me. I wanted to walk home with you. He seemed down, and telling him to cheer up seemed like it would have the opposite effect. Well, what do you want for dinner? Should we go out somewhere? To my house? We walked together toward the station with sluggish, tired steps. Maybe. I don't really have an appetite. He didn't seem to be paying much attention to the conversation either. Akira? Hmm? The conversation died as we trod forward in silence. I stopped when we came to a red light at the crosswalk. Beside me, I noticed a figure continuing, walking straight into the street. Hey! He ignored the red light completely and marched forward. A car horn blasted loudly, echoing through the streets. Akira, look out! Akira! Lunging forward, I clutched his arm and pulled him backward. The car sped by, rolling right through where Akira stood just moments before. From the rolled-down window, an angry man spouted curses from the car. Huh? Akira tottered backwards, as if waking up from a dream. You almost got yourself killed! That light was red! Weren't you looking? S sorry I didn't see it. It was obvious Akira was out of it. Maybe he was so worried about his partner that he couldn't think straight. Sorry, I think I'm going to head home. The thing is, he had been hiding it all from me so much that I felt useless. Did he not trust me enough to share his worries with me? <sighs> For some reason, that really ticked me off. Akira, no, you aren't going anywhere. Huh? You're hiding something from me, aren't you? <clears throat> he looked at me with a face both terrified and shocked at the same time. Uh, I'm not hiding anything. Yeah, those shifty eyes aren't helping your case there, buddy. Akira! Are you mad because I got invited to a group date? I refused, just so you know. Akira, I'm being serious here. Sorry, it's nothing important, really. It is, just look at you. My frustration and anger got the best of me, and I shouted out at him. Snatching up his arm, I dragged him away. W what? You're coming with me. I had dragged Akira back to my place by force. You sit down. He silently obeyed my command and sat in the seat. I couldn't just ignore this, both out of my concern and his safety. What happened? Did something happen to your partner? Ugh. His shoulders twitched visibly, so I knew I must be on to something. He's gotten worse, hasn't he? Yeah. Will he be in the hospital longer now? Akira stared blankly at me and said nothing. Akira, you're so worried you almost got yourself killed. Ugh. I'm not always going to be there to pull you out of the traffic, you know. It's the surgery. Huh? He's going to have surgery. It was going so well until now, but then it suddenly got worse. Now he needs surgery. He stared at his feet with a panicked expression, slumping down with gloom. I told Taiga I'd be fine, but who knows? I'm worried about it. Akira... I heard from the doctor that it's a difficult procedure. There's nothing we can do but wait and see, but not knowing is killing me. What if something happens? What if it goes wrong? I can't stop thinking about it. It's on my mind day and night. Akira seemed so cheerful all the time, it was mind-blowing to see him so sad. He had worked so hard to get here, and his partner had been improving by the day. In just a single phone call, all of that was at risk. To have that hope shattered, it was no wonder Akira was feeling depressed. Your partner is more worried than you are, believe me. Surely you can understand that on your own. There's no reason that you have to shoulder that burden all by yourself. Really? Share your worries with me. I don't know how much help it'll be, but... If you talk to me about it, maybe that will take a weight off your shoulders. Thank you. Sorry for worrying you. He put his arms around me and suddenly moved in for a kiss. Hmm. I don't want to be alone. I want to be with you tonight. Okay. When I nodded, he gently laid me down. As if tearing at his grief, he pulled and tugged at my clothes wildly. Akira! As I lie stunned by his passion, he pushed himself close and pressed his lips onto mine. His lips wrapped around mine, 
and his tongue pushed in, making it hard to breathe. Derilli. Moving his face down, he grazed across my skin with his wet lips. Ah, uh, Akira! My mind went hazy as his tongue tasted my body. Clutching his head and hair, he looked up at me with faint, wistful eyes. I love you. Leaning on top of me, he kissed my cheek and held me tight. While he kissed all over me, he rolled over and I pushed myself on top. Holding his cheeks in my palms, I looked down upon his face. It's okay. Akira, it'll be okay. When you say it, it's not so hard to believe. He blinked at the verge of tears before rocking his waist beneath me. Ah! The sensation forced an erotic groan from my lips. I'd like to do this all night. His hand squeezed my thighs as he thrust harder under me. I won't make it that long. He pushed himself up and laid me back down and leaned over me. Pecking my lips with short kisses, he shook my body against his. Uh, mm. Our bodies joined. I hope that this would at least help him forget his worries for now. Yeah, his route is just slightly more descriptive than Taiga and, and Subaru for some reason. Why is that? It's just me. I get the impression that Akira is more muscular than the other guys. He seems a little bit stockier, more built. Unfortunately, we don't get to see any of them without their shirts, which is sad. Can't you be more like my butler game? Alright, well anyway, I uh, hope to see you in my next video. Chapter 7. See if we can find out a bit more about what's going to happen to his partner. Hopefully something good. Hope to see you there or on one of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me. And I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.